Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today we have some exciting news that will impact millions of Americans. If you or someone you care about is a Social Security beneficiary, you should know about this. Imagine waking up to discover that your payments have increased, giving you that extra money. You desperately need financial breathing room, and today is closer than you may think. The Social Security Administration is introducing major changes that should improve benefit accessibility and increase payment amounts for many recipients. This is a historic development that has the potential to transform lives, and I'm here to help. Break everything down for you, so stay tuned. You won't want to miss a thing. Expect recent rule changes to boost Social Security payouts, so keep up with the most recent news if you receive benefits. This one is only for today. Social Security is permanently altering SSI. Millions of Americans will gain from this. Examine this one, which is scheduled for release today. Some receivers of Social Security are receiving higher benefits. In this video, I'll go over everything in depth and also look at how the Social Security Administration is altering the regulations. For assistance with rental meals, access for lower-income households will be increased, mostly through Supplemental Security Income, SSI benefits. Although they haven't heard from them in years, that will soon change. This will begin in September when a number of rural improvements go into effect. I, I've partnered with a video sponsor who will speed up your access to the most recent information I'll be sharing with you, so stay tuned. I'll outline the anticipated changes that aim to improve benefit accessibility and boost payment amounts that's accurate. If you haven't seen the video footage, make sure to stay tuned until the conclusion as we expound on this later in the movie. Let's get you up to date on the most recent events and Social Security. Johnson is advocating for significant adjustments and growth on all fronts for everyone in Social Security. But before we dive right in, I respectfully ask that you do a little favor for me. If you enjoy the updates, don't forget to take a moment to hit the like button. It really helps. I'll keep you updated on everything. So subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. It's completely free, so why not? With that stated, let's get started and catch you up on the most recent significant developments regarding Social Security. There will be a lot going on in the globe in 2024, so keeping up with current affairs can be overwhelming, especially in light of media bias, disinformation, and propaganda. It can be difficult to determine the exact truth in these situations. The Social Security Administration is currently getting ready to unveil new rules intended to, with the aim of streamlining beneficiaries' access to particular benefits and increasing their payments, the modifications currently impact Supplemental Security Income, or SSI, which furnishes monthly benefit checks to over 7 million Americans. Adults 65 years of age and older, as well as children who are blind or crippled, are eligible for these payments. You make little to no money or possess no resources. As we already know, SSI recipients' benefit levels are getting progressively smaller. They're not as high as they could be to fully account for impairment, according to Lydia Brown, head of public policy at the National Impairment Institute. According to Brown, the maximum federal monthly SSI payout for an eligible individual is now $943, and for an eligible individual and their eligible spouse, it is $1,415. These are the current maximums for SSI, and the adjustments are set to take effect on September 30th constitute a constructive move in the right direction. According to Brown, the agency revised its definition of a public assistance family on Thursday and published a new regulation that broadens the definition to include households that receive supplemental food assistance programs or quick payouts and those in which not every member receives public assistance. According to the Social Security Administration, more people may be eligible for SSI current recipients may receive larger payments, and persons who reside in families receiving public assistance may have less reporting obligations than under the prior policy, mandated that each member of the household get public assistance. A household receiving public assistance is one that includes at least one member who receives means-tested public income maintenance payments in a statement Social Security, and one who is an application or beneficiary for SSI. Security Commissioner Martin Ali stated that as of January 2023, 
nearly 304,000 of the 7.5 million SSI recipients will be eligible for benefits due to policy changes and the addition of a new program called SNAP for low-income families. These changes are intended to promote greater equity in the program. Recipients resided in households receiving public assistance. According to the Social Security Administration, under the new regulation, roughly 2,277,000 2 federal SSI beneficiaries, or almost 4% of recipients, might see an increase in their monthly benefits in fiscal 2003. According to estimates from the Social Security Administration, 109,000 more people a 1% increase may qualify for federal SSI payments that they would not have otherwise. According to Darcy Milburn of ARC, an organization that supports people with intellectual and developmental disabilities, the definition of homes eligible for public assistance has long overdue for an update. This is an easy one. Example of a definition update based on sound policy. The National Disability Institute's Brown Income Maintenance Public Benefit is the first new addition to the household definition of public assistance since 1980, according to Milburn, who also noted that SSI still functions largely on guidelines from the 1980s. On September 30th, the, the Social Security Administration will introduce two new regulations to update outmoded methods in rural areas. First, we will broaden the scope of the SSI program to encompass rental assistance. This will lessen the possibility that SSI eligibility and monthly payments will be impacted by renting at a reduced rate or obtaining other rental assistance. This policy, which is presently only available in seven states, will be implemented nationally. Second, food aid will no longer be counted by the SSA as support recipients receive from third parties, which might result in a reduction in their SSI benefits. Several individuals assert that the SNAP has an influence on their benefits from Social Security. This is no longer the situation because resources received by SSI users outside of their federal income are monitored by the Social Security Administration, SSA. Previously, whenever a recipient received help from friends or family, we referred to this as in-kind maintenance and support, or ISM. ISM lowers SSI payments. According to Milburn, the assistance may cut a person's benefits by as much as one-third each month. When the new system goes into force this autumn, Milburn said that the SSA will be tracking a significant amount of support each month. SSI beneficiaries should result in fewer administrative activities, more accurate payments, and less paperwork. Mobber congratulated all SSI beneficiaries, saying that this will have a favorable impact on your benefits. September is when this will start. Martin Nolly also mentioned that he was making other adjustments to Social Security. Here are some significant developments from the Social Security Administration that could help those who wish to obtain Social Security more quickly. We also heard Representative John Larson state that we need increases in Social Security for all beneficiaries, favorably affect millions of Americans. These improvements, which go into effect on September 30th, represent a major advancement in broadening the scope and efficacy of our social safety net. If you found this information useful, please consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to stay updated. With the most recent advancements, it's totally free and substantially contributes to the channel's support. Before we go, let us give a brief thank you to our sponsor for the day. They've been invaluable in enabling us to provide you with these important upgrades more quickly. Watch this space for more information about them in the subsequent video. Keep in mind, the first step to safeguarding your financial future is to remain informed. Thank you for viewing, and I'll see you in the next video. Be cautious and educated.